Hi, Loki, your mom's fave. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just getting started. Hey there, sweetie. Good to see you. Hope you can hear me. I didn't adjust my volume before I started, but I think it was on the highest anyway. Oh, hi, Lexi. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? I'm good. Hello, oh, Diane. You want to be in the box again this week? <laughs> hi, rainy day Thursday. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Just, oh, there we go. We got a guest request from Diane. Yay. <laughs> so glad. Hi, I'm in the box. Did, you, did I say hi? Hi, Kaza. No, I did not say hi to you because I didn't see you. Is Ryan with you also? Hello. Hi, Diane. Hello. What's going on? Can you hear me okay? Yes. Thank you. Hi, Timber. Thank you for joining us. Hi. Hi, Mac Woman. Thank you for joining us. And ba Gabby, is that you, Gabby? Yes. Hi, mm -hmm. Gabby. So we got <laughs> Gabby, Kaza, and I think Ryan, and my other granddaughter, Lexi, is here with us, too. Yeah, and, and Ryan is with us. <laughs> it's and family night. we got Lee, who just joined us, too. But anyway, this was the closest I ever cut it, Diane. I mean, at 729, I was just sitting down here. <laughs> at 715, I didn't even have my makeup on yet. But then I realized, well, that only takes me five minutes. But I was working on a video that I wanted to get put up before I went live, but I couldn't. I couldn't. I ran out of time. Yeah, last time it was kind of off the cuff and I was just sitting in the living room. This time I have my stand. I'm sitting in a chair like a proper yes. person. Yes. I brushed my hair. I put on some yes. jewelry. It looks, <laughs> it looks beautiful. I don't have any lipstick on. I didn't get to that yet. <laughs> yeah, I, I never put any kind of makeup on. So, <laughs> but Have you ever done, I know you don't do as many songs, but have you ever done a song that you felt like you knew? the song and it's like and you couldn't get it <laughs> i don't really do songs so I much know. i know I did, a, I did one or two when they had the filter that changes you from a woman to a man yeah and i, I did a meatloaf song it just happened to work out that it was meatloaf because it was one of my favorite songs mm -hmm. paradise by the dashboard lights yes, i love that song too and i know every word to that song so i had no problem with that song well i was doing foreigners i want to know what love is i love that I song every word to that song but there there are these little 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 things in the lyrics with the way he says the lyrics some of the words are very clipped yeah well and he he it's the timing of the way he says the lyrics was real i i there was this one line i just could not <laughs> I, I had to keep going back and going back because I, I started it probably about five o'clock and i had finished oh. it and i was doing the editing and i pulled it into TikTok. I got it pulled into TikTok. It's actually in the drafts, but I need to add the music in and put what I'm, you know, the year that the song and all that stuff that I do. And yeah. I, I had to just give it up because I didn't have time and I didn't want to rush it and then see it later and be like, oh. And then get rid of it. <laughs> well, then yeah. I just take it down and redo it or leave it up and do another version. I do that a lot. Yeah. Hey, Stephen King, how are you? Oh, hi, oh, Stephen. Sorry. Bad Brad. Hi, hi, Brad. Hi, Brad. Good to see you. Did is, is this your new account? I didn't ask you that. I know you got banned on your other account. I, th I thought I got banned or something yesterday. Oh, uh, everybody. Couldn't, yeah, I couldn't. I put my video up and it still, it was sitting there two hours later. 
I'm like, what the who? No, I there was. It. I did that four times before I saw somebody did a video that said something was wrong with TikTok. Yeah, you there was a glitch I yesterday. Was, I thought they did something to me because I reported some <laughs> scammer that commented on one of my old videos, and it was a scammer saying, uh, I forget what it was, something about giving you $15,000, so I reported them and blocked them. Oh, it's your old one? Oh, cool. <laughs> You're supposed to be off of, of ground. <laughs> oh. He won't be grounded anymore at 8 p.m. <laughs> He's let out of his room. He'll be, they'll let him out. Who else did I miss? Uh, oh, let's so see, sweetie. I already have plenty of moderators, and, and I don't want to do that, sweetie. I'm sorry. Oh, you can hear us. Hear me? Good. Can you hear Can you hear Diane? <laughs> Hi, little tiny flower. Oh, I didn't see her pop in. She Hi, just popped little in. Tiny fl flower. So good to see you. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, Scott I'm Millett. Not... Thank you for joining us. But yeah, I haven't been doing much on TikTok this week. I that was actually the first video. Those two videos that I did from my aunt's house the day, the one asking people to go support Nas. No, yeah, I saw that. And um, and then my promo, I did that when I was over at my aunt's. I just didn't post it until later. But um, those were actually the first two videos that I've done since probably Friday. I've posted videos, but they've all been things that I've pulled out of cap cut and redone because I just wasn't. I was not up to it. They, <laughs> my, my COVID test did come back negative. Oh, well, that's um, good. Yeah. And, but Friday, my doctor put me on amoxicillin. I, I don't know exactly what he thought. I think he thought I had a sinus infection, which I, he was probably right, I'm guessing. But, um, so I've been on that amoxicillin and I don't do well on that. But I, I'll be done with that Tuesday. And, um, but. Oh, just in time for. For Valentine's Day. Yeah, like I'm going to be doing <laughs> anything on, I'll be sitting right here on Valentine's Day by myself, I guarantee it. Unless, yeah, yeah, both. unless, um, hi Rhonda Booker. Okay, okay, we'll see you when you get back, sweetheart. <laughs> but, um, unless, because for Whitney's birthday, when Zach asks her where she wants to go eat, she always says, your mom's. <laughs> <laughs> so then Zach calls me up and asks me if I'll, because Whitney <laughs> likes the Persian food that I make. So that's what she always wants me to make for her birthday. Maybe she'll say that for Valentine's Day and I'll have company on Valentine's Day. <laughs> and there you go. Otherwise, I will be sitting right here. <laughs> yep, you and me both, sister. Yep. I'm kind of used to it. <laughs> I've been doing it a long time. How yep, long me have too. You lived, how long have you lived by yourself, Diane? Uh well, I've been divorced for twenty eight years. Wow. And the last boyfriend I had was eleven going on twelve years ago. Twelve years in August. I've been divorced for, let's see, 92. So I've been divorced for over 30 years. And then I lived with Brad for 16 years and he passed away. It'll be 14 years ago, May 30th. So I've been by myself for going on 14 years. Yep, I got used to it. I'm kind of used to it. <laughs> And after I got divorced, I had a boyfriend for about six years, and he was so irritating, and he was a, a drunk, and he was a mean drunk, so it was either leave him or bury him in the yard. That was the so. one I divorced. <laughs> <laughs> I think I divorced him before you. <laughs> 
but yeah, you might have. My ex husband passed away at the yeah, beginning of last kids. year from COVID. Oh, but as, just recently then. Yeah, 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 but I haven't seen him in almost 30 years, so. Yeah. My ex husband, the, the father of my children, he passed away. He was only 46 years old, I think. He passed wow. away about a year and a half after Brad did. That's very young. Fact, yeah, that's Brad right, Brad. We don't need those types. Brad was 49. When he wow, died. that's young. Yeah, well, he, you know, he took his own life. But um, he, uh, he was three years older than me, though, so. I'm sorry, Brad. I'm so Brad's sorry. Brad's getting on you. Okay, let me go. How far do I need to go back here? Okay. Happy Bubbles. What does that mean? Happy bubbles. Um, love you too, little tiny flower. You're probably already gone, but she'll be back. She's in <laughs> the what, tub. What are you laughing at, Lexi? What are you laughing at, sweetie? What am I holding my, oh, my phone is on my tripod, sweetheart. I have a tripod that has a phone holder in it. That That's what my phone is on. Sorry, I didn't see that you asked that question. <laughs> and let's see, what's, okay, love you, blah, blah, blah. I'm, he's Brad is changing his name back soon. I'm gonna add something to Bad Breath. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I can't wait to see what that is. <laughs> I have oh, to wait on pins and needles. Brad said, "Wow." Okay, Lexi, go do your homework, sweetie pie. Love you, love you, and thank you for coming. Sorry, I wouldn't make you a moderator. I'm, I'm, I'm mean. <laughs> <laughs> not mean. You just have a whole bunch of us. No, we, no, we do not need them type of men. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. I was hoping that um, that lady uh, Liz, Red Liz, Chaos Red yeah. Liz. I, yeah, I was yeah. hoping she would come on tonight because I, I wanted to show her that, my turquoise. I saw that squash blossom necklace it was beautiful oh, really. did she make a and video that, yeah she she did oh. a video she tagged us in it and also messaged it to us oh um, she didn't message it to me i have to check my comments because now that they put all your comments together i separate them out because i don't look at all the likes i just look at the comments oh you can they at put the them top all together of, what do you mean yeah, it says all activity when you check right. your your screen right. says all activity. If you click on it, you can just pull up all the comments oh, or right. the mentions or the like. Do. I always go to activity and then go to comments because I don't. Yeah, I, don't I just look at the comments. I don't look yeah, at everything. That's what I do too. That's exactly to, what I do. But I'll now there for it. a while on my page. There for a while, when I would go to one of my videos, I would see all the likes and all of the comments scrolling on the video, kind of like the way it looks on a live. It did that for about a month, and then that went away again. I, I don't know That's what odd. that was. It was actually... I didn't see that. At first, I didn't like it. And then I kind of liked it, and then it went away. <laughs> as soon as you get used to something, they change it. No, bad Brad. Oh, what? What? No, bad, bad Brad. Brad. I don't know what That's, you're talking about. That was his name in the beginning, I remember? Because you always just bad Brad H. Yeah, and we thought it said bad breath. Well, because that's what it looks like. <laughs> so he changed it to bad Brad, not bad breath. Yeah. Hi, Shuby. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for sending me likes, even though I was yelling at you, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> I always yell at him. I think he brings out that. I'm thinking he provokes that. 
I think he kind of liked it. <laughs> some some people like a tussle. They don't like you to be That's complacent. True. That's true. Yeah, you, I know you're used to me yelling at you. I do have a tendency to yell at you. you yeah. I don't know. Can I still send likes even though I'm in the box? Let's see. I don't know. I don't know, Don. Well, oh, yeah, I, I can. Good. Yep, and it comes up on the feed. Okay. Thank you for sending us likes. Ooh. Hi, traveling Dan. Thank you. There's Shelly Belly. Shelly, Brenda called when I was at my Aunt Iva's on Tuesday and, and yelled and said bad words in front of my Aunt Iva <laughs> on my phone. <laughs> I guess that was my fault for having her on speakerphone. I know what kind of mouth she has. <laughs> And my Aunt Iva was sitting there like, what did she say? <laughs> uh, that's why nobody ever puts me on speakerphone. <laughs> and I said, well, you know, she is a truck driver. <laughs> and she does talk like one. <laughs> it's, it's part of the job. Yeah. <laughs> Bad Brad is ready to send me. <laughs> yep, you got to be tough. Otherwise, the other yep, people will right. run over you. Yeah, Brad. Brad said he's ready for some Ram Jams. I bet him and Shelly both are ready for some Ram Jams. <laughs> it's been pretty tell, good I lately, hate though. My granddaughter, but but she's too young to do that. I, she, I don't think. But, um, I I probably take my TikToking a little more seriously than I should. <laughs> I treat, Anything like, you do. I treat it like it's my actual job. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you do, you should put your whole heart into. Otherwise, well, it, it's not worth doing. Anything I do, I want it done. I would say right, but it's I don't know that it's right. It's my way. That's, <laughs> that's what right in my book is. <laughs> as long as you like it, nobody else has to. They that's just can. Exactly, I guarantee you. Mm -hmm. uh, what? TikTok with Michael, that's cute. I love some of the people's screen yeah, names. Yeah, it has, Brad. It has been a while. I, I don't attract that kind of behavior, I don't think. Hi, Eileen. Thank you so much for joining us. And what is Brad saying? No, you don't. I don't know what that was because I was you don't, reading my comments. You don't he means you don't take your TikTok too seriously. It, it's just serious enough. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoy it. Hi, Junk Gal. Thank you for joining us. I remember you've been here before because we were talking. I was I was at the pallet store. Oh, you went to the pallet was, store again? Always wants us to go to the pallet store on <laughs> Thursdays when I really need to stay home and rest. But Thursdays are 50 cent day. Oh, you go wow. On Wednesdays, you get the same crap, only it costs a dollar. <laughs> I will tell you something I got there today for 50 cents. I'm not going to go get it like I usually do. I got a really, really nice pair of cuticle clippers and then another little cuticle tool with it that are like really, really nice for 50 cents. Can't beat that. I don't know why they weren't bought before. I think it's because of the way they're packaged. You couldn't really see what they were because they had like a sleeve over the top of it. But I could tell by the way the handles were shaped. I, I thought that is a cuticle clipper. <laughs> and I only have one pair, and I'd like to have one because I like to have that stuff in my nightstand drawer so that I don't have to get out of bed. <laughs> yeah, I don't do my own nails. I let other people do them because that's my only girly thing that I do is go and get my nails done. <laughs> you know, I've only ever had one manicure. I've never had a pedicure. I've only ever had one professional manicure. I'm real funny. I don't like anybody touching my feet, and I'm kind of the same <laughs> way about my hands. I'm also like yes. that about my hair. I don't like anybody doing anything to my hair either. Now, <laughs> fussing with it. 
Well, I'm never satisfied with it. When somebody else does it, yeah. I'm usually not very happy with it. They either cut too much off, don't cut it right, don't. <laughs> I'm not too fussy about my hair. And yes, Brad, I think you're the only dude here. Yep. <laughs> you're not in you the cynical touch- scene. Brad, you yeah. should treat yourself and go get a manicure. And, a and a pedicure. Nice. You are missing out if you don't get a pedicure. Oh. That's my favorite thing. Once a month, I, I go for a own, pedicure. I do my own pedicures. But, uh, but you can't give yourself a massage like they can. No. I love it. No. Because my feet always hurt. Because from the diabetes and neuropathy oh, and whatever, yeah. yeah, my feet are always either they hurt and they're numb. I don't know how yeah. they do both of those things at once, but they do. I don't know what you're and about. so when she massages them, it gets the nerve endings firing and it makes them not feel like blocks of painful wood at the end of my leg. Yeah. So I love getting the massage. Yeah, that it, it is, is great. really important when you're diabetic. It is really important that you take care of your feet. So yep. And she's so good, my girl. She checks all the time, makes sure I don't have any little cuts or bruises or anything on my feet. She's very, she's, I go to the same girl all the time, so she knows me. My mom had to go to a, a special doctor. He was, I don't know if he was. Who treats diabetes? Endocrinologists? Endocrinologists treat everything. They just tell you how your medication interacts with each other. Okay. Usually it's just your regular doctor that treats diabetes. But she went to a special doctor. He was like a podiatrist specifically for people with diabetes. Mm-hmm. And she, she went to, she didn't, they didn't want her to cut her own yeah, no, they they want you to be very careful. Yeah, she used to go to him to have her feet done, but she didn't. I don't know that she really got a, a pedicure there. I don't know. Maybe she did. No, she probably just got her nails clipped and stuff. She might have had ingrown toenails and stuff, and they wanted them. She did, I remember well, she did used to, when she was younger, she had ingrown toenails. I remember yeah. that. Well, Brad, I am originally from New York, and I moved to Florida going on six years ago. So... My New York accent is still around. <laughs> Trucker 30 years is here. Yeah, Dan, that's Brad's friend. Yep. Brad's oh, friend. Now you're not the only dude. Now there's another dude, Brad, so you don't have to feel, you know, all estrogen yeah, out. No, we got, we got two, we got two, two, uh, I was going to say something, but my grandson says that I decided it would be inappropriate. Uh-oh. We got two bros here. I was going to say something else. We we could say something more for our age. Two fellas. Two fellas. We got two fellas here. Two bucks. No, that's not right. Two bucks. egg timer, when it goes (laughs) off, she would read the comments. (laughs) Every three minutes, I'm supposed to read comments. We'll see. (laughs) Okay. Okay, Brad. I'm, I'm thinking of this. I said this last week that this is now the Diane and Gracie show. Um, <laughs> I've noticed that on TV talk shows, when they talk amongst themselves, they don't really answer questions from the audience. Like in. <laughs> well, now you have a second pair of eyes, too, so I can read the comments and keep up with Brad while we're talking. <laughs> yeah, keep up with what's he, what he's up to. Where's that? Where's Zach? You know, I didn't, I completely forgot. I did the live promo and I think it threw me off because I didn't, I just did those two videos at my aunt's house really quickly and the wind was just, whatever you call it, gusting. Well, when I got home and listened to my live promo, you couldn't even hear me talking because the wind was so loud. So I thought, I could dub this over, but I couldn't, I could stay word for word with the beginning because I say the same thing every week. Yeah. But I thought, I'm not redoing this. I'm too tired. I'm not going to redo this. So I just <laughs> dubbed my voice over top of it. <laughs> oh, Stephen King I, is I, back. I, I, I forgot to send it out. 
I sent, okay. the, I sent the video for Nas out and Nas. I completely forgot to send my promo video out, but everybody. Yeah, knows. I saw the Nas one. Two more well, women in is, here, please. The view. Okay. <laughs> Two more women in here. It could be the southern version of the view. <laughs> I hate that show. The, uh, the, yeah. I, I don't, I've never watched shows like that. Now, I, I used mm -hmm. to, when, um, for a short time after Brad died, every day when I got home from work, I would watch because the DVR was already set to record it because he mm -hmm. used to record it so that when he watched it, because he, after he was at home, he watched Oprah. I think he watched The View, too. He watched mm -hmm. Oprah. He didn't like Dr. Phil, though. But um, anyway, the DVR was already set to record that, so when I would get home from work every day, it would um, be there. When, when I started watching TV again, for a long time, I didn't turn the TV on. I couldn't, I just couldn't stand it. And um, I would turn the TV on, but it would be on the, like a screen saver that had, had, um... oh, get out of here. Hi, Stephen. Oh, oh, I, bye, I, Stephen. Bye, sweetie. Thank you so much for stopping by. Sorry, I didn't pay attention to you. And Brad, I never could stand Whoopi Goldberg, so I'm with you on that, but I was with you way before. Yeah, now I, I not, like Whoopi. I do like Whoopi. I, Whoopi. I, I, I can't take you her. Who I, who I didn't like, and I don't know, I can't tell you why I never liked her. Or I, it's not that I disliked her. I just didn't care for her. I didn't think she was funny. It's Joy Behar. When Joy Behar used to do stand-up, I, I didn't like her when she did stand-up. There was just mm -hmm. something about her. And there was that, uh, there, I don't know what, if she was on The View or not. That one, uh, she was Meredith, one of them. Meredith something or another, Meredith Bieri or something like that. She ended I never up leaving there and going to one of the 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 national news something I don't remember, but I didn't like her either. I didn't like her, and I didn't like Joy Behar. Yeah, I, I, I liked Whoopi. I never watched The View or the talk or any of that. I have yeah, too I, many I of my I have too I, many I, of I've my own opinions. Now I have seen The View a few times. Yeah, I I, I have too many of my own opinions. I don't need this. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm kind of like that too. I, I don't want to be yelling at the TV. <laughs> oh, I do that all day long. I, I don't want to be yelling at my television. Oh, well, actually, my iPad, because I don't even turn the only time the television ever gets turned on is when the kids are here. Uh, well, now that my cataracts are getting bad, I have to turn on the TV to see them. So, in yeah, a couple I, of weeks, I wonder they go. how much I'm. Well, my eyesight. My eyesight, you know, when they check my eyes, my vision is still 20-20. Now, I need the readers, and I notice the more I use the readers, the more I need them. Yeah, you become and dependent on them. I will tell you that once I got my A1, because my A1C is now down to 5-2, but my A1C used to hover right around 7. Hmm. That's and still not that bad, though. No, it's not terrible, but it was to the point where I was having to check my blood sugar, and I thought, yeah, that's because everybody in my family is diabetic. Mm. Well, my dad, my dad, now my dad's mother had type one diabetes. And my she was mom, born. With. My mom, yeah, my and my granddaughter Kaza has type one diabetes. No, and, nobody uh, in my family had. Oh, now Brad saying to remind you, you still have guests. <laughs> oh, I still have guests. Well, you and Trucker 30 years were talking about your phones. You don't need us for that. Oh, Lord. Trucker 30 years has always had Samsung. That's what I have. I'll never have an iPhone because I just don't like the company. I love my... We are Apple people. <laughs> I have a, an iMac computer just because my brother gave it to me, but I'm not paying $1,100 for a phone, $1,400 for a phone. You have to be out of your mind. 
No. I like my my iPhones. I but I still enough. have this is my this is my probably seven, eight year old iPhone. Yeah, I just I got still, rid of mine. I still oh. use for Shelly I use for this. I use you know, because Craig and I stay on FaceTime. Sometimes we stay on FaceTime all weekend. So oh, I, I FaceTime <laughs> on this and we used to stay on FaceTime all night and we kind of stopped doing that. But um, <laughs> I learned that from my granddaughter, Kaza. But um, yeah, Shelly. Thank you, Shelly. <laughs> Shelly said Apple forever. But um, I use this to <laughs> FaceTime on. So that, well, I FaceTime with him on this because I know he's going to, especially on the weekends, because I know he's going to, we're going to be on there. And um, that way, if one of the grand, my grandkids or somebody else FaceTimes me, I can have them on this phone on FaceTime. And, or if they call or text or I can do my TikToking. And, yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't have that many people that are clamoring for my attention. Welcome. I don't think I've ever seen you here before. And um, I, I'm, I'm not complaining about your lovely compliment. But I'm just saying I wouldn't take that any further because my moderators, they are itching. <laughs> they haven't had anybody to block for so long. If you even breathe sideways they'll have you out of here so be careful i'm just saying <laughs> oh hi par the collector he's one of my one of my peeps Who's hey par how are you where par the collector he just okay. signed oh, in I see. hi par the collector <laughs> he collects yeah, all no, kinds we of we do love her face i agree with you sweetie <laughs> He collects Hi. lots of stuff, hence his name. <laughs> Hi, Alan Jackson. Hello there. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Blaine. I'm, or I'm glad that you think that sounds great. Maybe I need a portal in every room. What's a portal, <laughs> Shelly? Like I a, don't a, know what a portal is. A phone for a, all your FaceTiming. Oh, <laughs> well, I have mission control in the bedroom. <laughs> I can be, I can actually be FaceTiming with three different people at the same time because I have oh, the geez. two phones and the iPad. And I used to, I would be watching two lives at the same time <laughs> while I was text because my friend Chad used to do a live every night on Facebook and YouTube. I would always watch it on YouTube. And then one of my other musician friends would also do a live. So I'd have both of them on. Sometimes I'd have Chad on live and my grandson's baseball game on. <laughs> so, I don't I don't have that many people clamoring for my attention, so I don't have to worry about it. Hi well, Smurfette. I have oh hi Smurfette. Hi sweetie. Hi sweetheart. Thank you so much. Hi, Harley Ride. Oh, that I thought that was uh what's uh what's that guy's name? There's one friend that I have, he's something Harley Rider, but I can't remember the rest of it. I, I, I can't remember. remember the rest of it. It's Harley something Harley Rider or something like that. I can't remember, but he's really nice. But hi Harley Ride. But um yeah. Um. And, Smurfette um, was uh, busy making dinner. <laughs> what do we have in Smurfette? Yeah, what you making over there? Tell us about some good food, because I haven't had any good food for a while. Uh, trucker, my friend Rosemary still has a flip phone. My, okay. <laughs> my friend Karen, her husband still has a flip phone. My aunt Geraldine still has a flip phone. That that's yeah. about to go away though. That that, that well, that's not going that's not going to be supported much longer. No, yeah, well, she's not getting rid of it. Bacon she has and to. waffles. Mmm, breakfast for dinner. Mm -hmm. I love breakfast for dinner. 
I like breakfast all the time. Oh, thanks, Par. You're oh, a sweetie pie. So sweet. You have the nicest friends. I well, really do. I have a lot of very sweet nice. people because I don't like yeah, rude people. Really cool. Well, apparently it's 62 degrees here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like rude people. I like to have uplifting, happy, yeah. sweet, yeah. you know, pleasant people. Yep. How's Master B, Pa? <laughs> Did you get any good packages today? Oh, they hi, sweet pea. Hi, sweet pea. Thank you for joining us. Haven't seen you for a little while. I saw a few of your videos not too long ago, but I will tell you guys, I have not been supporting anybody other than once in a while I've gone on my FYP, but I'm telling you, I seriously have been so sick. That's why Brenda was yelling at me at my Aunt Iva's because my Aunt Iva, um, I needed to go over and help her because, I mean, she's 70 years old. I mean, and she's, she's in really, she was in a whole lot better shape for, especially for 70 years old until she got COVID. And I swear she yeah. has not, she has not bounced back from that. Yeah, and I not, haven't either. Yeah, I know. I know a lot of people that just have not bounced back from it. Yeah, and, it's um, messed up my sugar so badly that I'm still on insulin and it's almost three well, months she's now. She's diabetic oh. too, but now she's yeah. been taking the pills all this time. They think now she might have to go on the, and I mean, she she's a little bitty thing. She yeah. weighs 140 pounds and she's as tall as I am. Oh, jeez. Hi, uh, Sweepy. Hi, where? 74 grits and cheese. Oh, Ooh. Grits, and cheese. grits and cheese for breakfast. I love cheesy grits. You know what? I've never had cheesy grits. The only way oh. I've ever eaten grits, because we didn't eat grits here. It, this must be a little too far north for the grit, for the grits. <laughs> but one of my friends in high school, uh, they were from uh, in Germany, but they were from Georgia. And she mm. ate grits, but she ate them like we eat cream of wheat with butter and sugar and milk. Yeah. That's how I eat grits. None yeah, cheesy grits. grits and scrambled eggs. Hi, yep. Jessica, Stamos, thank you. Cheesy Break. grits. I might cheesy like grits. that. And then you that. crumble up a little bacon and put it in there. Ooh-wee, that's good. Uh, no, Brad, I do live in Kentucky, but in this part of Kentucky, like you go to restaurants like there's a home style restaurant right not too far from me because i live in the city it's not a very big city but i live in the city i'm not i i don't want to live in the wilderness i'm not a fan of that <laughs> i live by myself that's very far um, yeah I, I like to live in i i, I don't want to be too far from civilization and um but they don't serve grits around here. So I know it's not just my family that doesn't eat grits. They don't serve grits in the restaurants around here. Yeah, I they have grit until I was in Tennessee the first time I had yeah, that. That's a little more Southern. Yeah. yeah, they have a restaurant here that serves all like healthy food and organic this and that and all different kinds of juices. And they make cheesy grits and they're delicious. Yeah, they're there's kind of this Bria. Oh, I shouldn't say that. I live in a college town. There's a college here. So they have those kind of restaurants too. Plus it's a touristy place because mm. there's a lot of like one of the things that used to be here years ago was it was called the Churchill of Weavers and it was a very famous weaving place. Like they wove a lot of the Scottish tartans and, you know, and plus there's a lot of crafts here. Mm -hmm. um, and so, and there's a hotel and restaurant here that's very famous and there used to be an outdoor drama here. And um, so they've always had kind of, you know, some of the things that are more tour, I, I don't know if I'd call them touristy, but more diversity. 
like hmm. in the food that you could get around here it was now what what they're known for here and they even have a spe festival for it, is called spoon bread which Never is heard like, of that. it's 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 like corn it's corn bread but it's more like a souffle it's like a cornbread souffle. That sounds delightful. It is wonderful. It is when it's made right. But at the restaurant that made it famous, they don't make it right anymore. What? Because used to, it was served to you piping hot out of the oven, you know, like how a souffle mm -hmm. is. Now they kind of make it ahead and it falls um. It's it not collapses. really very good. If you don't serve it, they used to, if, when you were in that restaurant before, like when I was a kid, they walked around with these big cast iron kettles and they would spoon it out onto your plate. And that's how they served it. And it was like bread. They would, you know, you, they yeah. were just bringing it to you as much as you wanted. They don't do that anymore. And it's not, it ain't all that. Anymore. Not the same. Now, Brad the wants hotel, to know if you... the hotel got bought out years ago by uh, the Holiday Inn. Mm. Uh, it, the big chains. I mean, it still looks the way it did, but yeah, it's not. And even the food there. Mm. Yeah, it's not the it, same once they change hands. It's not what it once was, but I know how to make the spoon bread recipe that they use. My Uncle Walter's mother worked there for, I think, 30, 35 years. And my Aunt Iva worked there for a while, too, and my Aunt Carol worked there for a while when they were real young. But the spoon bread recipe that they used was actually my Uncle Walter's mother's. Nice. And so Oops. I... And Brad says ding. Okay. I can read comments again. Thank you, Brad. Even though I didn't see it, I knew that actually. The egg timer is on its way. <laughs> yeah. That's right, Pa. It's breakfast of champions. Cheesy grits and bacon. Nom nom. No grits in Kentucky. I didn't say there are no grits in Kentucky. I, I don't know about other parts of Kentucky, but right he here, they there's no grits. In fact, I've never had grits in any restaurant in Kentucky. I've never even seen it on the menu before. And my father used to make it when we were little because he his parents were from Mississippi. I have not had boiled peanuts. I have not had boiled peanuts, but I have had um, my friend Shala, because this is something that I guess I did in Iran. Um, almonds. I've done it with almonds, but I haven't done it with peanuts. But you take almonds, and it doesn't matter whether they're raw or roasted. It doesn't make any difference. And you put them in water and just put them aside and let them soak up the water. And they are wonderful. It gives, <laughs> them, it gives them a texture similar to a water chestnut. Really? I really love that texture. I like doing that with my almonds. But now hmm, I haven't tried it. I don't know. Oh, hot sauce. Peanuts. Boiled, boiled peanuts and hot sauce. Hot sauce is not for me, Pa. Yeah, I, can't eat, I love hot sauce, but I can't eat it anymore. I, I, I don't I care for it. I like, peanuts are good. Yeah, I like hey, things that are... Um, yeah, I, like things I don't that even are have my you. watch on because I was so busy trying <laughs> to do Get a ready. job on a video <laughs> that I forgot to charge my watch and so my watch died. No, my phone died when I was at my Aunt Ivas. But, yeah. yeah I like How things that are... It usually take for casserole to get done? Well, what kind of casserole is it? Yeah. The spoon bread. Oh, the spoon bread. You know what? I don't remember. I think <laughs> mm, I haven't. I probably haven't made it. The last time I remember making it was probably about four or five years ago. And 
it does seem like it takes about an hour to cook, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. Yeah, it takes, it, it takes a while to cook. But what you do <laughs> is you, you cook your cornmeal on top of the stove, sort of like you would make grits or something. And you do that before you put it all together with, hmm. you know, with the eggs and the, the buttermilk. You have to have buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk, it won't rise up like that. Oh, it, is, it is very, very good. And now I have fresh cornmeal because my Uncle Walter grows corn, you know, that hard kind of corn, that feed corn stuff or whatever it's called. And then they have a, a mill that they, whatever, grind it. grinding stone, and they grind their own cornmeal. So I do have, mm. I won't take the time to make spoon bread if I don't have fresh eggs. The cornmeal, eh, I'll buy that at the store. I don't really care about that. Mm -hmm. But I won't make it without fresh eggs. I will not make it with store-bought eggs. It's just not worth it. Yeah, cornbread I like. I, I make a cornbread casserole, but it's very simple. It only has five ingredients. And every time I make it for anybody, they go crazy. They love it. What's in it, Diane? It's so simple. It's just, let's see, it's a box of the Jiffy cornmeal mix. Oh, that's sweet cornbread. Yeah. A corn, I, um, I could make my cornbread and do. Yeah, I don't, I don't make anything from scratch. Okay. <laughs> it's just me usually, so I don't bother. But it's the, the Jiffy corn muffin mix, um, a cup of sour cream, uh -huh. a stick of melted butter, a can of regular corn drained and a can of cream corn and an egg. And that's it. You just mix everything together all at once and throw it in the oven for 45 minutes. It's delicious. That's and everybody really loves it. And it's, it's easy whole, to make. It's a whole can of corn and a whole can of cream corn. I didn't hear. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A whole can of each. And Some it's easy to make. A stick of melted butter. Yeah. And an egg. And an egg. That's it. It's very simple and it comes out delicious. What's the texture? It comes out, What's the texture like? It's like cornbread. Is it like cornbread? Hmm. Yeah, it's yeah, just I'll not quite as it's not dry because of the creamed corn and the sour cream gives it a little moistness. Mm -hmm. So it's not dry and crumbly like cornbread. It's a little bit, you know, denser. Well, and it probably wouldn't be a problem because, you know, we don't do the sweet cornbread here. That's more of a northern thing. Um, but it might not be a problem with the cornbread being a little sweet because you're putting that creamed corn in it, which is kind of sweet on its own. So Yeah, corn in general is yeah, a little probably sweet. probably wouldn't notice that the cornbread is actually sweet. I might, I've actually got all of those ingredients i could actually except for the sour cream i'd have to go get some sour cream i actually yeah, buy some today but i didn't i like to make it because it's very easy and you can mix everything up before your company comes and just throw it in the fridge for a little while and then toss it in the oven when they come so i make it whenever i'm going to have a bunch of people mm -hmm. because it, it feeds a lot of people it makes a, a good sized dish what size okay. casserole dish? Do I think you it's, it's, it's a nine by nine dish or an eight by eight. The same glass dish you would make brownies in. Okay. That's what I usually make it in. And because it's dense, it's very filling. And then do you and have all of the instructions on the Jiffy corn for how long you cook it and the oven temp and everything? Nope. I just cook it at 375 for 40 minutes and it's done. I might, it's just, I, I could yeah, it's nice and simple. I might try that tomorrow. As a matter of fact, I think I might eat some carbs tomorrow. Oh, there you go. There's I've, your corn. I've been, eating, I've been eating carbs a little bit while I've been on this antibiotics. Mm. Now, who I doesn't know. drink sweet tea? Far. I can't drink sweet tea, but I like it. Yeah, I like it too. I like and sweet I don't, I don't drink iced tea because I drink it too, you know, how I sip my coffee. 
all day long. I, uh, part of the reason <laughs> I do that is because if I like overload my system with caffeine, it'll trigger that, you know, that SVT that I have. No. And I tend to, if I'm drinking iced tea, because I love it so much, I just want to guzzle it. <laughs> Whether it's got sugar in it or not, I do love the iced tea. Mm -mm. Smurfette wants to know if you're feeling better. Oh, yes. You know what, Smurfette? I am feeling better. I'm still a little wore out, but I ran around with my Aunt Iva today and then rushed around here. You know, okay, all I did was make a video, but you have no idea when I make a, one of those. <laughs> it, it absolutely wipes me out to do that. And that's why my friend Brenda was yelling at me on the phone because I was over there helping my Aunt Iva. And she said, what are you doing over there? You get bored. You get sick in bed just from changing your sheets. Why? <laughs> Which isn't true. I didn't get sick from changing the sheets. I got sick because I turned my mattress around by myself and I have no business doing that yeah that's too much yeah and I yeah. that put me in bed for a couple of days I just converse with y'all on the visitors list <laughs> like we're in prison it's the visitors list <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry Brad I'm so sorry Yes, Smurfette, I do feel better. I made actually made a video today. I, I haven't really looked at it very closely. It may not be very good. <laughs> oh, Gabby, it. back. The Collecta, I drank a lot of sweet yay. I think he meant sweet tea. tea. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? You know what? You know what that is? It's because he has very big hands <laughs> that's people who have really big hands have a hard time with the little phone with the keyboard yeah or even computer keyboards actually yeah I, I have a hard time with the phone keyboard because my fingers are chubby at the end so sometimes i touch more than one key at a time drives me insane i'll tell you what i've gotten where it's like hi baby gals Oh, thank you. There's, there's Tommy. Tommy, if you don't know, um, we have Smurfette and, and Bad Brad and Mrs. Johnson and Shelly and all of the people that are my moderators here. If you, and Smurfette's not one of my moderators, but she's one of our really, really good friends. But, um, if you go through and, and, um, follow my moderators and Smurfette too. They will, they will follow you back. Tommy, I'm trying to think, Tommy, how we ended up being, how we, where we met, how we, I, I don't remember, but he's really, he is really great. He has some really good videos too, but he's really, he is really supportive. And um, good good thank you. Thank you so much, Tommy. I do try to pick, I try to pick songs that I don't hear all the time. It's what I try to do. I try to, if I hear it, I've been watching the old, I don't know how old it is, but it's at least six or seven years old. Okay, sweet pea, go, go feed the kids. Don't, don't neglect them for sure. Make sure they eat. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. I, you know what, Tommy, I'm really sorry. Because I told you that I would send you my promo that I do every week before I go live. I forgot to send it to anybody this week. I, I, <laughs> I, yeah. When I get tired, I my memory is really bad. I, I It's like I can't think straight. Yeah, when you're pooped out, you just you, yeah, you can't I, keep I, things I, in order. Yeah. I, I can't think what I'm doing, but next next week when I do the promo, I'll send it to you. I send it to a bunch of people, but this week I sent it to no one. Hi, William Leaguer. Thank you for joining us. Did I send, Brad, I sent you the promo? Really? 
I don't think so. I sent you I sent you a video, but it wasn't the promo. It was the it was the yeah. video where I asked um, everybody to show uh, Nas some support. Nas's videos get get a lot of views though. Oh yeah, her, her videos. Uh -huh. Yeah, they really do. They do. We talked about that one time about. Um, and she she did this. Her and Jenna both did this because you know uh, Gypsy Jenna. I don't. I, I can't remember if you're friends with her or not, Diane. But she, I think so. She sings and she does lip. She does a lot more lip syncing anymore than she does singing. And um, she always had a lot of views on her videos, but they didn't have very many followers. And we mm. talked about that one time about how if you want people to follow you, you you got to ask them to. And um, you got to do that call to action video. Mm -hmm. and it was so funny because Jenna did. I, I was so proud of this. And I said, and you should say it in your own words. Mm -hmm. instead of. And Jenna, when she did that, she took it to a whole different level. I mean, she knocked it out of the park. And that video got 9,000 views. Like, wow. Yeah. That's I was so lot. proud of that. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> but yeah. it wasn't because of me. It was because the way she, you know what I mean? I said, just right. go you... on, record it in your own voice, and ask people to follow you. You know, ask them to follow you and like and share and comment. Yeah, you and gave her the she, idea. She knocked it out of the park. I am not kidding. Yeah, I never did one of those, I don't think. I did forget happy to send with it out. The, I know I did. Okay, I yes, almost, I did forget to send it out. Yeah. I did forget to send it out. Yeah. And I I, I I was telling Diane earlier, I think I got distracted. There's. Yeah, I can't go to Zoe's basketball games. I, di I didn't tell Whitney that. I told Zach that I was going to have to tell Zoe because um, that's why my doctor was worried that I had COVID because I went to Zoe's basketball games. And I can tell you around here, when I go to those basketball games, now they're little kids. So the gym is not packed. And so people that are in the same family kind of sit away from each other. You yeah. know? I mean, together as a family, but away from each other. Yeah, that's so nice. I will tell you, when I go to those basketball games around here and my cousin son, Blake, he plays for the high school team here. And um, I would love to go to those basketball games, but I'm not very comfortable. I've only gone to one of Blake's since COVID started because... They're just too crowded. Yeah. And I will tell you around here, nobody wears a mask. I'm about the only right. one there with a mask on. And my doctor knows that, that people around here don't wear masks. And when I was sick, he asked me where I had been. Yeah, I think you're right, Brad. But, um, he was afraid that I might have that new strain because my symptoms, I had a sore throat, I had an intermittent fever and I, these sweats. And um, so he had me test and then he thought, cause I told him I'd been at Zoe's basketball game. And he was like, mm, not <laughs> a good idea. He was like, yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed it cause you're not going anymore. <laughs> but he was, he really was, he was very disappointed in me because he thought I knew better. And I do know better. And I actually thought about it and I thought, you know, how stupid is that? I'm going to a basketball game. I'm wearing a mask. Nobody that I'm there with is wearing a mask. So I leave there. And then we go to my Aunt Iva's house and I take my mask off there. Now I'm around all those people that were there with no masks on. Mm -hmm. So I won't be going to. Yep, I was good for two years, got nothing, stayed healthy, made one bad judgment error and went to New York for the wedding. And then I was sick for a month Yep. and yeah. messed up my sugar and did all kinds of bad stuff. You are very, very lucky. 
very, very fortunate. Yep, I spent my birthday in a diabetic coma. So yeah. that was not fun. No. <laughs> I think I should get to do that one over again, though. I think I think that one doesn't count now. Yeah, I don't think it counts either. No, it doesn't. I'm sure. We'll just do 61 again this <laughs> time. <laughs> yeah. I think, that's, that's, I think that's how it works, Diane. Yeah, it, it's just horrible. COVID doubled your essential tremors. Ugh. It does all kinds of terrible things to you. It does different things to every person. Well, horrible. The thing that my doctor and my cardiologist talk about this too, I guess for people that already have heart issues especially, yeah. Because it, my cousin's wife, it, she didn't even have any heart issues because she was only 43 years old and she didn't even have any heart issues that they knew of. And it somehow damaged her heart when she had COVID. Yeah, it does different things to everybody. Oh, hi, Making... Smiles. Hi there, sweetie. Thank you for joining us. Brad makes a mean milkshake now. <laughs> it's funny and not funny, Brad. 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 <laughs> he could say it because it's about himself. Yeah, that's true. Official country boy, 1968. Hello, sweetie. Thank you for sending likes, official country boy. We like the likes. You need that. You need. You guys need to start tapping the screen so you can call in more people. So Brad will get some trolls that he can zap out. <laughs> he's, going with, he's going through withdrawal in here. We, you know, I'm. I'm gonna. I don't have any. Oh, here's a wooden pencil. Oh my God, Diane, you should see these pencil sharpeners I got today. Oh no. I'll be right. I am gonna go get one. There's you cannot be set loose in the pallet store anymore. <laughs> yeah, this is the kind of crap that we get at the pallet store. <laughs> you know, I, I need stuff to give the kids when they come over. <laughs> Let's see if I can open this. I got three of them. Uh -huh. uh, pencil I have, what made me think of it is because I've got a pencil here. Okay. Can you guys see what this is here? A nose? <laughs> it is a that pencil is... <laughs> See, you That's stick terrible. The pencil, and I'm going to drop pencil shavings in the floor, but you stick the pencil up the nose, and it's a pencil sharpener. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> That is terrible. Free for 50 cents, by the way. <laughs> they, they should pay you to take them home with you. <laughs> Hi, Linda. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, sweetheart. Linda, I'm sorry I haven't watched your videos that you sent me yet, but I will I will get around to catching up. Did did everybody did everybody get to see? Oh, I just dropped shavings. So I'm sorry, I can run the vacuum cleaner. Well, See I guess it could have been, it could been worse. Up the nose. Yeah. <laughs> a nose, a nose is bad, but it could have been worse. <laughs> Who makes some stuff like this? <laughs> Luckily, they didn't pick a different body part, and we just they have the nose. <laughs> oh my God! There actually is an electric pencil sharpener that looks like that. I have seen that before. Oh no! It is wrong inappropriate people, people do stuff like that those are my favorite things inappropriate things i'll tell you something that i brad saw i don't remember where he saw it i think he saw it in a magazine and i ordered one for him and my daughter i won't say which one but one of my daughters was really offended by it <laughs> it was a little baby that was an incense burner and it had these little incenses that look like cigarettes. <laughs> it was a smoking baby. 
Oh, and no. I got, he said he was laughing about it when he saw it in the a magazine That's and, funny. Um, or in one of those little catalogs or something. Yeah. I don't know where he saw it. But anyway, he was dying laughing about it. And so I ordered it for him and put it away and, and wrapped it up and put it under the Christmas tree. And yeah, one of my daughters <laughs> was extremely offended by that. Yeah, I would find that funny. Well, Brad, it would be worse if it wasn't a nostril, if it was a different body part, like the one you sit on, that yeah. would be worse and to I sharpen the pencils in there. Electric pencil sharpener that looks like <laughs> that. I sure imagine. I've seen it before. Yeah, it is. It is just wrong, Brad. It actually kind of makes my nose hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Sticking that pencil up the... But when I saw those three noses in that bag at the pallet store, um, I'm not saying it, Brad. I think you can figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> um, whenever I saw those three noses in the bag, you know what I thought they were? I thought they were like those fake noses like you wear and you know we have the oh, costume yeah, yeah, yeah. we have the costume area in the playroom in there. Nice. Hi, so, so I always, if I see costumes, oh, little tiny flowers. She's back. And my friend Chad is on. Bree, uh, Chad said hi. Yeah, and Chad and Nestle. Nestle is his dog. He's a oh, chocolate Oh, okay. Chocolate okay. What's up, Chad? Because I have a friend, Chad, too, but I, I'm not friends with him on TikTok. Yeah, so no, I he's my boyfriend. Right He's my Boston boy. Oh, nice. Hi, Chad and Nestle. Thank you for joining you. us. Thank you so much. Oh, he's oh. the uh, Bree is engaged, she said. Oh, very nice. Congratulations. And little tiny flowers will dry <laughs> off. <laughs> oh. So good to see you back, sweetheart. Hi, sunny day. Hi, sunny day. And yeah, congratulations, Bree. I'm sorry, I didn't even say congratulations. Very nice. Oh, Did you say thank you, you, King Smiles. That's so sweet. Love you too, sweetheart. Love you. Love you, love you, love you. I haven't been seeing you on my FYP. I did see one of your videos popped up on my FYP while my video was loading or whatever you call it. And then, you know how there for a while, when you uploaded a video, um, your home page would go away. Like if it, your home page would be there, but as soon as your video loaded, it would throw you off there. And sometimes I'd be halfway through a comment, but then <laughs> they made it where after your video loads, it stays on your home page. Mm -hmm. Well, now it's back to where it throws you off the home page again. When, as soon as your video loads, it goes to your video, and then whatever video you were watching on the home page is now gone. Because Tiny right. Little Flowers, uh, Little Tiny Flowers video came up. It was like a, I'd never seen her do this before. It was like a close up view, you know, of her face. Mm -hmm. and I've never seen her do that before. And that video popped up and then it, before I, I think I liked it, but before I could comment on it, it was gone. It disappeared. So go to her page. Yep. I see them little tiny flowers. Yeah, I do too. I do too. If I'm on, and I, I just haven't been, what I've been doing is I spent I've been spending a lot of time sleeping. And I have been spending because now I go to bed now about I was going to bed about nine thirty or around nine thirty and actually falling asleep because I get up at ten after four every morning to spend a little bit of time with Craig before he leaves at five little about five fifteen to go to work. But then I go back to sleep for a couple of hours sometimes. Today, I went back to sleep only for about an hour. And, um, but anyway, 
the last few days I've been <laughs> sleeping more during the day because I'm just wore out from though I guess those antibiotics. And, yeah, they uh, do make me sleepy. And Brad says he's got to go. No. Okay, Brad. I'm sorry. I'm not being a good hostess. <laughs> Playing telephone. Bye, sweetie. <laughs> Love you and thank you. Thank you so much for coming. And I'll try not to ignore people in the future. Bye, Brad. Uh, Trucker 30 years doesn't want to be the only dude here. <laughs> what? Why not? trucker 30 years i think that's probably nice i don't think you're the only dude here are you hi blue yes thank you for joining us yeah, it depends if chad and bria are still here yeah dan you're not here alone and it's nice to be the only guy with a bunch of women <laughs> i would think i think that would be nice i guess it depends oh we've got We've got official country boy here, so you're not the only guy here unless he left. He probably left. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I was doing good until he had to cut wood. <laughs> you know, that's a hard job. I've actually, mm. split, I have actually split wood before. Not, not, um, not recently <laughs> brad he's your only comrade so you better not make say mean things about him <laughs> That's right. oh smashed his finger i'm so oh. sorry i'm sorry dan that's painful that is painful i do not like to smash a finger mm -mm. or a toe well i don't really like smashing any body parts but fingers are really bad Definitely bad. Hi, emotional friend. Thank you for joining us. I like that screen name. Yeah, I do too. That's great. They're just telling you right up front. Listen, I'm emotional. <laughs> well, see, that's the price. I'm thinking of it is, it's missing a chunk of a chunk of skin. Chunk of skin. Ouch. Are you in a barn? Am I in a barn? <laughs> I don't know. Do they have nice sofas in a barn and rugs? Why are you asking me if I'm in a barn? I, I don't know why I'm asking that. I think Brad missed his opportunity. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> are you a little too country for him, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe my voice is echoing like I'm in a barn. I, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, it's too know. late. Brad took care of him before he left. <laughs> I knew you were going to jump right on that, Brad. <laughs> and they could have legitimately been asking if I'm in a barn. <laughs> that, 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 that's a good one, Brad. That's a good one. That Put him in a stall and shut the door. That's great. Hi, Creative Carmen. Yeah. I bet that's one of your friends. Creative Carmen. Uh, nope. No? Not that I know of. <laughs> Just the barn door now. Actually, well, now because the Wi-Fi stinks over there, I could I could broadcast from uh, Zach's barn or uh, my <laughs> Uncle Walter's barn, but... I'm not a barn kind of person. <laughs> I don't really go. Back, I don't really go in the barn. I did go in mm -hmm. the barn when my when I wanted to do the vid the cow milking video. Mm -hmm. I did go in the barn to do the cow milking it's, it's, video. If there was horses in the barn, I would go in the barn because I adore horses. Oh, I'm. I am not as bad as I once was, but I don't go, like, if there's a cow or a horse, I need there to be a fence between them and me. <laughs> I'm, and I, I mean, I'm sure probably the reason, well, I spent my summers on a farm too, but I, yeah, 
I, I didn't do much on the floor. <laughs> Brad's not getting his hair cut for a few minutes because his hairstylist is having some ice cream. <laughs> Did you make her a milkshake? <laughs> yeah, right? Make her a milkshake. She can suck it through a straw while she cuts your hair. <laughs> Cows are big babies. I love cows. I think they're adorable. They are. They are cute. Cute I personality. think they're cute too, but I, I just, what happened Beautiful. when I was a little girl? I was only two years old. Hi, Tammy House. Thank you for joining us. That's funny, Flower. The bulls are the troublemakers. <laughs> That's right. They are. But, um, my grandfather, I, he was in the barnyard, and um, I wanted to ride my horse, which was like a, it wasn't, it was like a pony, but it wasn't a Shetland pony. You know what I mean? It was a bigger pony. And mm. um, he didn't want to put the saddle on it because it was like almost dinner time, and I kept throwing a fit so he put me up on the horse well I don't know exactly what happened but the horse threw me off and then stomped on my arm and broke my arm two two and a half something like that mm -hmm. yeah that, that'll leave a bad and impression I think it was the stomping on me part probably that was more traumatic the worst. yeah and um I don't know what, I don't actually remember it, but they, after that, I was scared to death of cows and horses, and they never made me get back on a cow mm -hmm. and a horse. They kind of allowed me to, you know, didn't make yeah, me get over that, and yeah, I think as I got them. older, it just got worse and worse, but yeah. Yeah, I'm a city girl, but I love being around horses and cows and stuff. Every, there used to be a lot of stables in Staten Island in New York when I was younger. So one of the stables was behind my best friend's house. And he used to, the guy that owned the stable, used to let us go over there and feed the horses and ride the horses for free. And it was just so much fun. I just loved being around the horses. The I bigger the I always wanted to ride horses because people, around, you know, we live in horse country here. Yeah. People around here my... ride horses a lot. I always wanted to ride horses when I got older, but I could not. The last time I tried it, and my Uncle Walter tried my whole life to get me to get on a horse again, and I'm like, <laughs> no, I wouldn't even get on a pony that my feet touched the ground on. And when I was 18 years old, I decided... This is ridiculous. I'm getting on this horse. And it was a big Tennessee walking horse. Probably, I'll, I'm saying this like I know something. I do know a little bit because I listen to people. But it was like 10 or 12 hands high. So it was a big horse. And I decided I was going to overcome this fear. So I got on the horse and we were on like a dirt road, but I mean, it's a dirt road that cars go on mm. and it had a little ditch, you know, like a ditch beside the road. Yeah. And um, anyway, what happened is I was on the horse and a car was coming. So I was trying to get the, I had yet to ride it. I had just gotten on it and the car was coming and I think because I was so scared, the horse was already kind of spooked because I was scared to death. And I was pulling back on the reins and my Uncle Walter's brother thought it would be funny to slap the horse on the rear end <laughs> with me pulling back on the reins while the horse, then the car's coming at the same time. The horse stumbled down in the ditch. And when it did that, after he slapped it, then it started rearing up, you know, and so by the time the, they got the horse calmed down, I had my arms and legs wrapped so tight around that horse's <laughs> neck, they had to pry me off of the horse, 
And it was like, nope, never again. But I was <laughs> not falling off that time. Mm -hmm. I did not fall not off. You. But I, yeah. but nope, I will never do that again because you guys act like these horses do everything you tell them to when they have oh, a no. mind of their own. Oh, yeah, I've had a couple of incidents with horses, but luckily nothing ever too bad where I was afraid to get on another one. Yeah. I, my, just like them. I think they're gorgeous animals. was so mad at his brother for doing that because he had tried for years to get me on a horse, and finally he didn't talk me into it. I talked myself into it. I just <laughs> made the decision that I was going to get over that fear. Well, not so much. <laughs> I think I just Especially now. I think I just <laughs> <spilled> it. <laughs> no, you wrote Smurfette rode when she was twelve and then once in college, never again. <laughs> uh, I like them though. Yeah, I, I like them more. Not that I don't like horses and cows. I do like them. I just don't want them like by me. Yeah. You don't want them stomping on you. <laughs> I can't I can't it's absolutely terrifying to me and it's an un, it's an irrational fear well Usually. not totally it's not complete i see that's why i've never been able to talk myself out of it because it is not a completely irrational fear no you did have a bad incident uh -huh. my best friend that we used to go to the stables she would always stay on the outside of the corral because she had gotten kicked by a horse once and she didn't want to be close to one, yeah. but I would go in the barn and I would feed them and he would let me walk them and stuff. I enjoyed boys. I used to sit there and draw them. Uh -huh. I enjoyed boys. We would steal all her mother's carrots from her garden and bring them over to the horses. <laughs> then her mother would be looking for them like in three days. She'd be like, I thought I had like 15 carrots out there. There's like two. What happened to them all? We were like, see, we don't know what happened to the carrots. <laughs> Who knows what happened to those? Now, I will pet a horse, like if it's on the other side of a fence. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll pet a horse that way. And it's funny because my daughter, my oldest oh, daughter. Jack is here. Oh, Jack is Hey, Jack. Zach. Oh, you mean Jack. Jack. <laughs> hi, Jack. I thought you said Zach, and I thought, oh, that's. Hi, Jack. Thank you uh, for coming. We haven't seen late. you for a while. I haven't seen mm -hmm. you for a while. Oh, no, I think he stopped, in, he stopped in last week, didn't he? Jack, you were here for a little while last week, weren't you? Yeah. And you know what, Dan, I see what you just said, how you stay up for three or four days at a time. You know, I used to do that all the time. I used to stay up. And I mean, in recent history, even, I, I would stay up for two or three, four days at a time for no reason. Just because I couldn't sleep. And, and like, if I had things that I had to do, anytime I have something that I have to do, even something simple like a doctor's appointment or going to pick my Aunt Iva up or something like that, used to, I wouldn't sleep. Yeah, me neither. I, I, I would not sleep if I knew I had to get up and had something I had to do, even simple stuff. Yeah, I, I have a problem with that myself because I don't really go out or do much. So when I do have something planned, it's like in the forefront of my mind and I can't go to sleep. I know. I'm, I'm constantly playing it through in my head and planning and making sure I don't forget anything or, you know. Yeah, how to get there, just, what time. Yeah. I think the appointment's at two. Is it at two? Is it at three? Is it at one? I don't know. I, and I check it like 15 times. I know perfectly well when the appointment is. Yes. But it's still. But I think I might have forgotten. Yeah. I don't, I don't, what it is is I don't trust my own memory anymore. Mm. Because I have, I have for, <coughs> I have forgotten things before. I've forgotten, completely forgotten to go to an appointment because it was on Wednesday and I thought it was still Tuesday. <laughs> when I have appointments now, 
I tell my counter robot, I can't say her name because then she'll yeah, ask no, me what I, I want. I change, I call I change her. name so I can yeah. say. I, I call her my counter robot. I always tell her when I have an appointment so she reminds me the day before that I have it for the next day. Yep. I, do, I, don't, <laughs> I don't set as many alarms on those devices. I have, a, there's a whole row of alarms set on my phone for every pill I have to take, everything I have to do has alarms set on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> but, I, don't, I don't usually set anything on my phone. I tell the counter robot because she's in the kitchen and I'm usually in the living room, which is right there. <coughs> oh, three but more I, minutes I, until Brad's not I grounded anymore. For asking questions like if I'm writing something or typing something because I make a lot of notes on my phone too mm -hmm. and if I'm writing something and I don't know how to spell it I ask her how to spell stuff if I'm <laughs> if I'm I ask her the temperature I ask her the weather I ask her all kinds of stuff like that and yeah me too but I don't use it as much. I do once in a while, I'll use it to set a timer. You know, if I want to set a timer well, for something, I'll use it for that. I try to use it for that, but half the time she sets the alarm and the other half she doesn't. And little tiny flower, stop it, you're adorable. I don't care what kind of lighting you use. It, you're still gonna look good. Yes, so yeah. absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Post always good lighting and it's <laughs> all a <laughs> dang <laughs> illusion. Now, I will say this. I don't think this is the case with little tiny flower, but I will tell you that you, okay, you can create some pretty good illusions with the right lighting, the right camera angle, the right filters. Mm -hmm. Go look at some of my videos and then look at my videos without filters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love the filters. You can create quite an illusion. <laughs> yeah. I like the ones that put makeup on you. I like the makeup ones because I don't wear makeup. So oh, if it puts, oh, yeah. I if make, it puts um, mascara and lipstick on, I'm happy. I actually <laughs> make more videos now once I when I started using I because what I do is I use a filter on TikTok then I I save that video you know I post that video privately take that I pull it into another app where I do the makeup mm -hmm. and then I pull it and I do some effects in there too and then I, I mean like background effects and coloring and stuff like that and blurring the background and that kind of thing and then I throw it into CapCut and that's where I put most of the effects in. Yeah, but, see, I, I, I don't have the patience for all that. <laughs> well, see, Diane, that's the, the doing that that is actually my favorite part of making a video. That's where really? the fun begins. I, I don't have the patience. Oops, somebody's saying hi. Oh, oh hi. hi, Maria. Oh, where am I? I'm way up here. Take time to your next stop at Trucker. That's funny, I'm showering the dog. <laughs> what is the Lenart. Hi, King Smiles. I don't see who's saying hi. Lenart, after King Smiles. Oh, hi, King Smiles. Thank you for coming back. But, oh, um, hey, John. I don't believe for one second that little tiny flower is creating an illusion. Now, <laughs> now she, her no. videos are beautifully art directed and beautifully done. No doubt about that. She definitely has an eye for that and a talent mm. for that because they I say it all the time. They look like a page out of Saks Fifth Avenue catalog <laughs> or a Vogue yes, Maria. magazine. They are absolutely beautiful. And I remember you, Maria. Of course I do from Paper Batman. I wish he would go live more. He doesn't go live hardly ever now. I miss Paper Batman. What is ever since Paper we went on YouTube, he has forsaken us on TikTok. <laughs> One of my friends, Diane, she was she was with me 
when I was, uh, I will tell you which video it was. It was when I was doing the, well, no, I won't because I don't remember. <laughs> I can picture the video, but I have no idea what song I was singing. <laughs> but um, my friend was with me when I was actually filming it. So she was seeing me like on FaceTime while I was filming that. And when I sent her the final results, actually filming it. So she was seeing me like on FaceTime while I was filming that. And when I sent her the final results, she said, I'll tell you what, you get an Oscar for special effects. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, I, I just don't have the patience. Now, I, my friend hello. Maria says hello to you. Hello, Maria. Hello there. Nice to meet you. And thank you, King Smiles. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And or he may have been talking a little tiny flower. <laughs> and uh, so that's that's my, my favorite part of doing a video is actually getting the, getting the lighting and, and doing right. that and then the manipulating because that's what but I, I used to do that for a living for a while. That was Yeah, I just um, I just I don't have the patience. And, and what <laughs> it's, I can't what see it's, well enough to do the editing because usually it's on those little tiny bars and you have to, you know, go back yeah, and forth and it absolutely is really small. It really yeah, is. I don't, I don't see well enough to be bothered with us. And Brad is no longer grounded. So ding. Yay! <laughs> Celebration. And you know what? I'm supposed to be, I should be saying something about this too. I will tell it's you not that two days, today's the 10th, right? Yes. Um, On February 12th. I should have had like an anniversary party. February 12th is my one year anniversary of being on TikTok. Well, two more days. Yeah. Well, there's nothing from stopping you going live in two more days. Well, that's true, but you can if you want to. Come here with me. I might go live. That'd be, what is that? Would that be Saturday night? Uh, yeah, Saturday night. Saturday night live. <laughs> we could do that go live Saturday night for a little while, I guess, but yep. I'll do some special video, but thank you, King Smiles. Thank you. Yeah. I've yeah. been on for a year. It'll be a there year. There you go. Yeah, and I think, uh, I don't even know when I started on TikTok because it was a long time I where know. I didn't watch them. Only reason I know, Diane, and I don't even know where Alexis got that information, but I was on alive i don't know probably six eight months ago and somebody asked that question and alexis was here and alexis went and looked at something and then came back and said you went you went you went on tiktok on your you went on tiktok on february 12th nice yeah i don't know when i did my first one i would have to go back to it and look but i was on for a few months before i ever actually made a video and I'm sorry that Red Liz Chaos didn't come on because I, I put I my box of turquoise rings. Oh, you're going to get your new RV Saturday. Congratulations, Brad. Congratulations. Hi, Kathy Presley. Thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. But um, what was I, I was getting ready to say something. What were we talking about? Your anniversary. Oh, the anniversary. Um... Hmm. I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, I don't have one clue <laughs> what I was getting ready to say something about. Nice. Little tiny flower, send me a message if you're going to go live. I'll come on. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, little tiny flower. I would come to your live, too. I would absolutely come to your live. Oh, Ed Brad is going camping in style. No more no tents. tents for him. Good job, Brad. Hi, Kelsey Miller. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, Emily, if you go live, we'll come to your live. Just send, make sure you send us a thing and let us know. But yeah, absolutely. And and we could 
we could do something on Saturday night, but I'll, let me think about it and see. Because I guarantee you I'll be at home on Saturday. I'm not, because I'm not going to the basketball game or going to my aunt mm-hmm. Iva's because she's having out of town company. So I don't want to be, I don't want to yeah. be. Yeah, for sure, little kind of Sarah. Yeah, me. I don't think my doctor will like it very much if I continue to do that and end up getting COVID. No, he will not. No, because I have been warned. Oh, it's time for Brad's haircut. His hairstyle is just an A man icure. <laughs> a man icure. Thank you, King Smiles, for sending those likes. We appreciate that. His hairstyle is just done with the dessert. Yeah, we have 2,800 likes. That's not too shabby. That's a lot of likes for us. We don't have that many. Get a pedicure, too, while you're at it. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yep. And I have another. it's called a semi-anniversary, a six-month anniversary of something coming up tomorrow, too. Uh, I think I did my first live, not this past November, but the November before that. My so I think live, I've been on for more than a year. My first live, it'll be a year April 1st, and the reason I remember that is because I did my first live on Zach's birthday last year because I was so excited about doing my first live, I completely forgot that it was his birthday. Oh, no. <laughs> and I asked, him, I asked him to be a moderator. I had him and Moto Gator were my two moderators. And, oh, and, um, and um, my friend in the UK, Iksha, which she ended up not staying a moderator because she was in the UK and it was one mm. o'clock in the morning or something. Yeah, time difference. Okay, little tiny flower. Go have your din din. <laughs> yeah, go eat your din din, sweetie pie. I need to eat something probably when I get off of here too, but I have no idea what it'll be. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm, I'm having uh, salmon and macaroni and cheese. Ooh, that sounds really good. You know, I... I'm thinking I might eat another bagel. I've been eating bagels. I've been eating. I ate a bagel yesterday with brown swagger on it. I had a bagel with cream cheese and butter. Butter. <laughs> yes. The reason I did that is because I toasted the bagel and I had the butter sitting right there. And so I put the butter on it and I'm like, crap, I was going to put cream cheese on this. I'm like, well, why can't I put cream cheese on top of the butter? So that's what I did. And it was actually really good. Yeah, I love <laughs> bagels. Right? Sending me a picture of something. But, yeah, um, I can't eat bagels anymore. That's yeah, bagels I, are very I, bad I, for diabetics. I'm not, I shouldn't be eating them either, but. Like I said, this week I've been eating the carbs because not a lot. I haven't been eating sweets. I haven't been eating sweets, but I've been eating the bagels. Mm. And I did eat some peaches and some strawberries. And um, I'm trying to think, but I haven't eaten anything sweet as much as I wanted Mm. to. Well, they say when you are craving something, it's because your body's telling you that that's what it wants and that's what it needs. So yeah. when you feel like having something, you have it. You, know you just don't, do? you know, go here's, crazy. Here's what I do. And Carter, when Carter and Zoe spent a, a week or so here with me last summer, Carter, Carter stayed with me while Alexis and Michael went to the Dominican Republic for a week. And so because Carter was, and you know, Zoe, Zach and them live here. Alexis and them all live in Ohio. But since Carter was staying with me, Zoe wanted to stay too. And um, Alexis is telling me about her phone upgrading plans. (laughs) But anyway, um, so they stayed and they know I don't eat carbs. And um, one day we had root beer 
and we had ice cream because, you know, we had all that kind of food here for those two. And I thought, man, I would love to have a root beer float. Mm-hmm. So I declared it a carb day. <laughs> <laughs> and I had a That's root a beer float. Day. I can't even tell you. And Carter told Alexis on the phone, he said, Mommy, Grandma is eating every carb in this house. There were more sweets in there, root beer float than carbs. It's like, Mom, you're going to put yourself into a sugar coma, and those two are going to be there by themselves. <laughs> oh, jeez. Then they have a ham sandwich after that, and it'll balance it out. That trucker yeah, brings his dog with him to the bakery. That's adorable. Oh, I love the bakery. I love bakeries. If I were the ladies at the bakery, I would spoil them too. What kind of dogs, trucker? Yeah, what kind of dogs do you have? Oop, Smurfette swiped out. Now she's back. <laughs> she's back. What kind of dogs do you have? Hi, Queen Janet forever. Thank you for joining us. And Jenna, Jenna Lou who? <laughs> we used to have um, Daisy Lucy. Lucy. Oh, Daisy Lou Who, yeah. Wasn't it Daisy Lou Who? I think so. Mm, wait a minute. Oh, I don't know if it was Daisy Lou Who or not. I cannot remember. I remember I liked saying her name. It was Susie Lou Who, maybe. Mm, Susie, I don't remember. Susie. What's the little girl on... Um, What's the little girl on the Grinch that stole the Christmas? Grinch? Yeah. What is her name? Cindy, Cindy Lou Who. Cindy Lou Who. That's it. Hi, Eileen. Thank you for joining us. Oh, you know who we haven't seen tonight? We have. Well, we haven't seen Zach or Jessica. I thought Jessica might be here. We haven't seen Zach. We haven't seen. Um, and now I forgot who I was getting ready to say. We haven't seen Jenna or um, Tom. We haven't seen John Camarera. No. I haven't seen him. I saw him today. And I mean, we are past, We have a time check of 9.13, Miss Grace. Okay. I was going to tell you when we went on and asked you to be the timekeeper because I had to charge <laughs> my watch. But we can go whenever you're ready, Diane. Dan, tell us what kind of dogs you have. Big dogs or little dogs? Yeah, do you have the big doggies or the little doggies? And do they stay in the truck? Yeah. I, I have my bird, Minky. And I didn't, I don't think I told you guys that I got a little white mouse. A mouse? A little white mouse because <laughs> my fish, when I was spending so much time at the hospital before my dad died, um, my fish died. Because huh. I put one of those feeder things in there and my goldfish ate itself silly. And anyway... <laughs> And it caused the water to go bad while I was gone, and it killed my fish. And I had not put any more fish in there. I just kept the aquarium with no fish. And so and it's one of those bio things, you know. It's like one of the – it's not like a regular aquarium. And <clears throat> I decided I didn't want to – get more fish and set up another aquarium and I thought what could I put in here and I thought I know I would love to. I always used to have white mice I love white mice so I thought I'm going to get myself a little white mouse and put in here and it was shortly after Betty White died mm. and Craig said well what are you going to name her and I said I believe we'll name her Betty White <laughs> Betty White Mouse <laughs> and I was going to get her a sister and name her Vanna White. <laughs> but then Craig said, you can't do that. They'll fight. And I said, I don't think so if I have two girls. But then I looked into it and it's, yeah, they'll fight. So she doesn't get to have a Vanna White with her. 
to the get any company. Well, you know, you know, I got the bird because I had birds for a long time, and anyway, I got her. It, it just kind of, I had thought about getting a bird, and then it came up that somebody, well, they lived away from here, but I met them halfway. Um, they had a baby cockatiel. <coughs> And um, the parents had stopped feeding them when they were real young. Hmm. And they had two of them sold, but one of them wasn't sold. So they didn't really want to take the time to hand feed all three of them. And so they offered it. I don't remember what I paid for, but normally you wouldn't have taken them away from their parents that early. But I got her when she was about two weeks old. And brought her home and hand fed her and ended up hand feeding her till she was nine months old because there were no other birds here to teach her how to eat. How to be and a bird. She, would, she wouldn't <laughs> eat enough to not lose weight. If I, I was only giving her one feeding a day for the last six months, but, um, I would give her that one feeding a day so that she didn't start losing weight. And uh, anyway, somebody told me on, because there were videos on my YouTube channel and I asked the, I did a video where I asked the question, what, what, what am I doing here? What's, why can I not get her weaned? And they said, it's because I didn't have another bird. And um, I got another bird and sure enough that, that did it. But um, anyway, I like having something, you know, and I had her and the fish. I like something because I don't really have anything that I have to do. Mm. You know what I mean? I, I, even mm. if I have a doctor's appointment, I don't have to go to that doctor's appointment. I could reschedule it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You if you have animals that you have to take care of, they have to be taken care of. Yep, and, and I that's, needed something that I had to do. Yeah, and that's every day. Yeah. <laughs> you can't yeah. pick and choose I, when you have an animal. That, that I absolutely had to do because when I have absolutely nothing I have to do, yeah, it's what I have a tendency to do. Sleep all day? <laughs> I'm sorry, Diane, I didn't hear you. Sleep all day? No, I didn't sleep all day. I just <laughs> didn't do anything. Well, I would clean <laughs> house. I'm always cleaning house. That's like my hobby, I think. But not so much since I've been on TikTok. I have other better things to do than clean all the time. <laughs> yep. You have more interesting things to do than clean. Yeah, because they used to. It was like, and I'm still, I'm still pretty neat. I mean, I'm not a messy person to begin with, but I don't spend all my time cleaning. <laughs> when it's only one person in the house, how much can you clean? I mean, I my know. house doesn't really get dirty. I know, but I could always find something that needed to be cleaned or reorganized <laughs> or something. Yeah. You know, That's, I, I change things around more than I actually clean because there's not that much to clean. I have more dust than anything else because yeah. I have central air. So yeah, that's a lot dust. of dust. There's so much stuff that has to be dust dusted. I can spend all day dust in one room. <laughs> and I know you're yeah. the same way. Oh, oh my thank Kiki. You. Thank Hi, you. Hi, Kiki. Kiki Ann. The birthday girl. Yesterday was Nikita's birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. And and uh, Dan never did answer us about the dogs. I think he must yeah. be. Is he still on? I, I don't know if he is or not. Are you um, still there? <laughs> I can see Tom, Tommy is still here. Tommy is still here with us. And Smart yeah, Dad Tommy's Smart back. Dad. Commenting that mice are cute. Yeah. Hi, Kiki. I was a little disappointed last night that you didn't say, I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Miss Johnson to me. But you were distracted yes. by all your birthday goings on. <laughs> I see somebody saying very handsome, sir. I don't know who they're talking to. Though. 
I don't either. I just ignored that. <laughs> but, so. Yep, Smurfette's still here. Thanks for the roses, Kiki. You don't have to, but it's very <laughs> sweet. That's sweet. Very sweet. But do you want to call time, Diane? Yeah, it's almost 9.30. I got to have yeah. my dinner. I'll do, I'll do my sign off and. And, um, and I did go back and I, I posted the live replay on my YouTube page and it does on the replay. It has you down in the box. In the box. I'm in the box. <laughs> but I will do my <laughs> sign off and then, and then you can do yours if you want to. Okay. And like I always say, I want this to be your favorite TT show on Thursday nights. It's now the the Diane and Gracie show <laughs> <laughs> for as long as Diane will continue to do this. And I will see you next week. Same time, same station. It, this gives You're me done. an excuse to, to brush my hair and put on clothes. So I'm all in. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of sitting around in my pajamas on Thursday. So I, thanks, Kiki. I, I, I to you the right well, no, because I'm on FaceTime with Craig all the time. I do have to change <laughs> my pajamas every day so that it looks like <laughs> I'm actually like you, different. Like you had something to do. So that it looks like <laughs> I'm actually like you, different. Like you had something to do. <laughs> but anyway. If I don't have to, I don't. I don't. <laughs> Love y'all. Thank you so much, Diane. It's so much more fun. Love you, Smurfette. Love you. Who is that? That who is our that? white side? Oh, I can't. Thanks see. for coming in. But we're going out. <laughs> oh, it's Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. We are getting ready to sign off, sweetheart. If you want to, if you want to come back next Thursday, we'll have you and Diane on if you want to. But love you. We have to get off. We we gotta go eat some food. <laughs> and we don't eat on my. Uh, we don't eat on the live for what we just. I don't know <laughs> why we don't eat on the live, but we don't. But love y'all. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much for coming, sweetheart. Thank you, Diane. See y'all next week. <laughs> and where's my off button? <laughs>